Hi, today I'm gonna teach you how to use procedural animation asset. First, you need to install animation rigging package or fast IK from the asset store. I personally prefer to use animation rigging because it is easier to set up. Then we need a rigged model. For example, I have this spider made in Blender, but you can use any 3D software you like. Usually, you will have an amateur empty game object, which is basically the parent of all bones. And this is why I recommend animation rigging package. You can just select amateur object, go to animation rigging tab and select rig setup. As you can see, a rig component was created as a child of this object. Don't forget to reset the transform of the rig, otherwise nothing will work. Click on this rig and select Create Empty to create an empty game object as a child of rig. Let's duplicate it 7 times, because this spider model has 8 legs. Select all of them and click Add Component to Bone IK Constraint. You can also add Chain Constraint if the legs in your model have multiple segments. Now we can start setting up the IK. Find the end bone of the leg and drag it to the tip field. Then right-click on Tube Bone IK Constraint and select Auto Step Up from Tip Transform. As you can see, Animation Rigging sets up everything by itself. Then let's do the same thing for all of the legs. The next thing we need to do is to align transform of targets and feet. Select target of the first IK and tip of the first bone, go to Animation Rigging tab and click Align Transform. Do the same thing with Hint, but this time align it with the middle bone of the rig. Repeat this process for every leg. Now I usually like to select all targets and hints and set the rotation to zero, just to keep things nice. Now select hints only. Click this plus icon and set the size to something like 1, so we can clearly see where the hints are. Do the same thing with targets, but I usually like to set the shape to sphere and size to something like 12. Let's enter play mode and see if our IK is working properly. Now we made sure the IK is working. The first thing we need is to select all the target points and make them children of the main game object. I'll explain later why we need to do that. Let's select your model and add component procedural animation. This is quite a lot of numbers, but don't worry, everything from now is pretty easy to set up. Let's select main object again and lock it. Now drag all of the targets to the leg IK targets field. The first field is called Step Distance. You need to set the approximate distance of step that you want. Usually you can leave this at 1. For more info, read the comments in the code. Then we have Step Height. This pretty obviously controls step height, same with step speed. Now we got to the cycle speed property, and here let me explain how everything works. By default, this script calls make step function every second. Cycle limit controls the duration of the cycle. The cycle speed controls the speed of the cycle. Timings offset offsets the cycle for every leg, so they don't move at the same time. If you need only one leg to move at a time, Set this value to 1 divided by the number of legs. If you need some legs to move together, click Set Timings manually. 
add as many timings as your model has legs and set the offset by yourself. Moving on to the gizmos. To find target step point, sphere cast is used with radius of sphere cast radius, range over ray cast range, and offset over ray cast offset. Now select the armature and add procedural body controller. And here I highly recommend to check the smart body position box. It makes everything more realistic and brings life to the animation by calculating body position based on average leg positions. That's it! Thanks for watching and good luck with your project! If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.